Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the three double crochet shell stitch. This crochet stitch is quite popular with making baby blankets, regular blankets, beanies, scarves, shawls, anything you could possibly want to make. This is a fantastic pattern to use. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell, that way you don't miss any of my videos. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways, and you are not gonna wanna miss out. So this pattern is actually fantastic for literally any yarn size that you may wanna use or any yarn type, which makes it a very versatile pattern. And I love this pattern, especially with bulky yarns, like a size five bulky, chunky, or even a size six, super bulky, super chunky. This pattern makes up a very quick blanket, which is awesome, especially for baby blankets because there's it's a solid pattern, no holes it's a winner. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to the, to the three double crochet shell pattern, there is a multiple stitch count requirement of a multiple of four. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a long enough tail to weave in any ends, create my slip knot and attach my crochet hook. Perfect. All right, so multiple of four. So I'm just gonna make a swatch just to show you how to do the pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, and four. Perfect, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it small, that way we can get through this quickly. All right, so for row one, we're going to make our first double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from our crochet hook. So looking at our chains, one, two, three, four, double crochet. That chain three that we just skipped over does actually count as your very first double crochet stitch. Now for the rest of the pattern, we will skip one chain and single crochet in the next chain. Then skip one chain and make three double crochet stitches in the following chain. We dive right into the pattern. One, two, three. Then skip a chain, single crochet in the next chain. Skip a chain and three double crochet stitches in the following chain. One, two, and three. Great, skip a chain, single crochet in the next chain. Then skip a chain, and in the very last chain here, we are only making two double crochet stitches. Only two for the first and last to keep those sides straight. One, and two, perfect, great. To move on to row two, we will chain one. We will turn our work. For row two, we will single crochet in the first stitch space right here. We will skip that next stitch, which is that double crochet stitch. Look for that single crochet stitch from the row before. And in that single crochet stitch, we will make three double crochet stitches. One, two, three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the following stitch, which will be the the center second double crochet stitch right there. Then skip a stitch, find the single crochet stitch, and make three double crochet stitches in that single crochet stitch. Three, perfect, and that's the repeat pattern. Skip a stitch, single crochet, then skip a stitch, three double crochets. One, two, and 
three. And at the very end of row two, you will skip a stitch and single crochet in the top chain or that third chain here to close row two. Perfect. Let's move on to row three. For row three, we will chain three. One, two, three. Turn our work. That chain three does count as our very first double crochet stitch. We will make a double crochet stitch in that same first stitch space right here. One. Then we will skip a stitch and single crochet in the next stitch space. And then you know the pattern, skip a stitch, find the single crochet stitch and make three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, then skip a stitch and single crochet. Skip a stitch, three double crochet stitches. One, two, three, then skip a stitch, single crochet, and at the very end of row three, you will make two double crochet stitches in that last stitch space. One, two, and again, that just helps to make sure that the sides stay straight right there. Perfect. Now for the rest of this pattern, all you're doing is repeating row two, row three row two, row three. That's all you're doing. And look how solid this pattern is. Isn't that great? It makes for such a perfect baby blanket or regular blanket for the winter. My favorite yarn to use for this pattern is a bulky sized yarn. So that way it really just works up super fast. Now, honestly, there in the pattern, there is no special instructions for the very last row. It does look fairly even, but if you really want to make the top of your blanket super even, here is something you can do. So chain one, turning the work. This, is, this would be a row two repeat. So I just finished a row three repeat. Gonna single crochet in the first stitch, skip the next stitch. And in that single crochet stitch, I'm gonna make three half double crochet stitches. So it'll add some height to fill in that gap, but not create anything higher than that. And then skip a stitch and single crochet. Skip a stitch and three half double crochets. Now again, this is optional. It's just something that I noticed when I did it made a flat top. So if you'd like to utilize that, go for it. If not, the top is, is fine by itself and you can put a border on that if you choose. I often don't. I think the pattern itself looks great, but that's your choice. All right, this is the three double crochet pattern. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this tutorial, you might also like these other tutorials right here, which are more crochet patterns that you can check out. I hope you had fun. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.